What's up guys? Welcome to another Build It Break Garage episode. Today's episode, I'm doing brake lines on Spike. Got a little uh, rusted uh, through brake line and uh, ended up losing brakes on the way to a doctor appointment I had. I'm replacing the line from the master cylinder all the way to the passenger front wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys what uh, it takes to do that. People wanted to see more detail on the power bleeder, so I'm gonna go ahead and show that too. And then, tomorrow, we're gonna go ahead and start getting the intercooler set up on Midori, which I'm really excited for. I'm gonna take you guys along for that journey as well. So, sit tight and uh, watch me do this time lapse of me bending a brake line. All right guys, so finally got the brake line all set and uh, did as best I could. It's not run factory, but whatever, as long as it stops, I don't give a shit. This is the power bleeder. So you pressurize this up to about 20 pounds of pressure and it puts fluid into the master. And all you gotta do is break your lines or your uh, bleeders free and let them drip. Show you guys how that goes. Just break it free. Letting all the air out right now, and just like that, it's dripping fluid down. So that's how uh, the power bleeder works. I mean, it's really simple. Uh, it saves you from having to do two uh, jobs. So yeah. Um, so next up is switching out the cars and getting my door in here. All right guys, well, uh, I went and switched around Spike and put Midori in the garage, got her up in the air, even though the airbag system's completely, like, not freaking working. Um, I have no idea why, but that's gonna be another thing I have to diagnose while I do this swap. So, I'm gonna take off, start taking off the header for the last time, and get this turbo kit in here so I can start routing up intercooler piping. And, uh, yeah, so, enjoy this time lapse. Alright guys, well, I got the turbo manifold onto the motor and the downpipe installed, as you can see here. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna stick out of the hood. I didn't really plan for that, but, uh, it's gonna happen, so, uh, now I just gotta work around it, because I'm not about to cut up this manifold to make it fit under the hood. It's just, uh, that's just the way it's gonna be. Now I have to modify the downpipe because uh, it's a little too close to the left side of the oil pan and then uh, I should be able to get the v-band on All right guys, what's up? Uh, so yeah, I was just thinking about it and I first off I just got the downpipe uh, welded up and uh, I got it set like just right it Is just perfect just to shoot to the exhaust, but I forgot I actually can drop this motor an inch because I have it currently spaced up uh, and that's for the axle shutter but since I'm on bags I don't really have that problem anymore so I can lower this motor back down to stock height and I might be able to actually get the hood to close so that would be cool so I'm gonna give that a shot and of course I have to do that before I do anything else with the intercooler piping because it's gonna change the location of where the motor is so we're gonna go ahead and do that tomorrow morning uh, for now I'm just gonna leave it off here and uh, yeah, so fast forward to tomorrow morning. Welcome to day number two of boosting the Midori car. Today I'm hoping to get the oil pan fitting on. That's gonna be the number one thing I'm gonna do today because uh, pretty much everything else has to go around that. Also just went and got a stock transmission mount so I can drop the motor back down into its factory location. So I hopefully I can get the turbo to sit under the hood instead of having to have it poke out of the hood or do something funky with the hood. I'm really hoping to get it to fit under the hood. So I'm gonna drop the motor the inch that I can and uh, hopefully that is enough to make it fit under the hood. And then after I get the oil pan fitting on, uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and drop the motor an inch and then I'm gonna start fabricating up my intercooler pipes. So that's when the fun starts. So. All right guys, well first things first, before I go into the car to start taking off the oil pan, uh, I'm going to have to get the all the turbo stuff that is currently on the car off, and then I'm going to get the manifold ready for paint so I can get that painted really quick too, and uh, yeah, so 
we start now. All right, guys, what's up? Uh, so obviously I got the manifold off and uh, I forgot to move the GoPro to actually show what I was doing next. But uh, so what I ended up doing was I welded up, welded up the hole that was right here on the manifold for the O2 sensor, uh, since I won't be using that. And then I also took a descaler and descaled it and got it to look pretty uh, nice and raw again. Uh, so that way the white paint will stick because I'm painting it white. So I wanted to do that before I dropped the oil pan, so that way I give the time for that to dry and uh, before I start manhandling it and trying to get it on. So yeah, so next up is the oil pan. So yeah. All right guys, well I got the manifold all sprayed. Now it's all white and I forgot to show you guys. I also did the downpipe in white. Now it's a matter of getting the oil pan off and getting the bung uh, fixed onto it. Also, Joey decided to come over, so he's gonna work on his car at the same time. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw you guys in the camera and watch me take off this freaking oil pan. All right guys, so uh, I ran into a little speed bump. Uh, I got the crank bolt out and then I couldn't get the pulley off, which uh, normally doesn't happen on these Saturns. They're pretty easy to normally get off. So I had to go pick up a three jaw pulley puller. Yeah, I got it off. Now to get this whole brace off for the dog bone and everything and uh, start getting the oil pan bolts off. Yay, it's time to get greasy. Okay, uh, but I'll check in with you guys once I get the oil pan off. Hi right, guys, I don't know what I filmed last, but uh, just a quick little update. I got the oil pan down and uh, I got the fitting attached. So this is how I like to do my fittings. I actually drill all three holes and tap all the bolts in place. So that way, when I bolt this up, I can uh, just, uh, I can be able to take it off when it's still on the car, so I want to drop the pan again. I just got the RTV on and about to put it up about to put it up into the car so uh yeah uh hopefully there's no hiccups because it's like the worst part of doing this all right guys well i got the oil pan up and it's in the car now now i actually have a fitting for the drain on the turbo i just got the crank pulley and everything back together serpentine belt back on so next thing to do is to swap this out for this and drop the motor back down to its factory height. And hopefully that means that I can get the turbo to sit under the hood, which would be really cool. Check in with you guys after I get the manifold back on. Hi guys, uh, so got the motor drop back down and uh, everything clears, thank God. So that worked out great. Uh, got the manifold on as a test fit, made sure everything closed up good. The manifold's all nice and white now. Now the thing that we're doing is we're gonna figure out the oil lines, uh, I'm gonna figure out the return and the feed line, and then uh, yeah, it will be it for the night. So uh, I'll show you guys once we get the oil line back on. All right, guys. Well, uh, I got the manifold on and got everything pretty much set how it's going to be. I ended up getting the oil line on. We got everything up. I ended up having to chop the hood up a little bit right here just to get the oil line to fit. Um, as you can see, it kind of sticks off the back a little bit, but you can kind of see where the drain pipe is. Kind of hugs around. I'm going to go ahead and leave it off there. Um, today has been a productive day. I hope... Uh, I can get enough footage where this isn't too choppy, but if it was, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, you guys have a good day. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Peace.